okay so welcome to the next session of today's lecture uh, uh, we uh, in this uh, session we will talk about multi okay in previous session of today's lecture we talked about uh, pair processing in which process a b and c are executed in parallel at the same time or more than uh, three process so the parallelism is achieved through software uh, or hardware so we have two types of uh, parallelism and we explain it with the help of a simple example okay so uh, what is the difference between the multi processor in multi computer the federalism or efficiency is usually <coughs> achieved through federal processing the efficiency is the efficiency is usually improved through parallel processing so there are different types of parallel execution such as multi processing and uh, multi processing so uh, processor and computer both are hardwares so these are hardware implementations so we have two types of uh, uh, two different terms multi uh, processor and uh, multi computers so multi computers means that you have multiple computers and they do the same task or different classes in parallel and share the progress with each other using message passing so all the computers are working in parallel and they are uh, communicated with each other using message passing protocol so such type of uh, mechanisms or system are called multi computers now if we have only one computer but uh, it has multiple cpus or multiple processors so uh, such type of uh, processors or system is called uh, multi processor system or multi processors so here uh, these uh, different processors share the same main memory RAM. so these multi processor system are also called shared memory systems shared memory systems and, and there is no need of message passing like multi computers okay <coughs> so uh, uh, in, uh, the because they share the same main memory and uh, as we have uh, studied in cache coherence, uh, coherence problem each cpu has its own cache so they, they are independent in this so these uh, multiple processor are executing, uh, executing instructions in parallel so the main difference between the two this is multiple computers and uh, uh, they are working together by uh, communicating with each other using message passing uh, mechanisms or message passing uh, protocols and here uh, there are multiple processors and the same same only one computer but multiple processor all share the same main memory uh, so it's also called shared memory system and each system has its own cache so we need to uh, implement okay so the next uh, uh, of course uh, to avoid an important thing is, is multi threading versus uh, multi processing so uh, 
usually uh, process any program under execution is called process and one process has more than uh, one thread t1 and so t2 and t3 so multi processing means more than one process execution of more than one process or more than two process multiple process at the same time it is usually done with either with uh, multiple processors cpus multiple cpus or multiple cores of uh, the same cpu either with multi core system or multiple cpus we can uh, apply multi processing so multi processing and multi processor uh, also, uh, almost similar things but what is multi threading in multi threading uh, uh, each single thread of one process here one process multiple processes are in parallel which here one process is multiple threads so each thread all the threads are executed are more than two threads uh, more than one threads are executed in parallel so such type of process uh, execution is called multi threading thread 1 and thread 2 and thread 3 okay this is a definition of uh, threads basic unit of uh, process it uh, comprises thread id uh, so thread has thread id program counter register sets and a state <coughs> usually we have multi in multi threading uh, each process have its own memory location in the main memory in memory but in processor uh, there are uh, is not in multi threading same processor uses different threads of the same process for example thread context that stores the that have program counter and uh, register for storing and executing in a thread thread context one suppose this is cpu for a process so thread context one contains the memory uh, has a register and a program counter thread context two is another thread and three is another and four another one so all the threads are executed in parallel and from the same <coughs> process which belongs to the same location of the main memory but this is executed all these uh, threads in parallel okay thank you